Hey guys and welcome to this uh, video lecture how to use NSLog for outputting logs to the console. So here I have a project we made in the previous tutorial and so far we did a couple of times uh, output messages to the console using the NSLog which is a, a macro as you can see here which is way too much complicated so just think about it as a utility uh, to output messages to the console which we can uh, open up or close up from here and let's just comment uh, all of this so for outputting strings uh, we cannot do simply like this As you can see, we have the message my name, I suppose, but uh, we also have a warning which says format string is not a string literal. This is potentially insecure. So the way we have to do is uh, first we say that we have a string and then we specify something called the format specifier, like this. We start uh, with percent sign. Um, and then we put that at sign. Then we put a comma and our object. And here we will get replaced with the actual value of S1 string. Now we don't have warning regarding uh, this line. And if we want to put uh, also the other string in the same message, we can just leave a space to make it more readable and now S2 as you can see we have the value of S1 we have a space and the value of S2 let's uh, compile these three lines and let's say we want to create a number an integer we can use a type called int, which is a primitive type, which comes from C and C++. Let's name it n and assign a value of 125, for example. To output it, we use nslog n equals percent %d, put a comma, and n. And percent %d will get replaced with a value of n, which is 125. Let's run it we have n equals 125 uh, I told you it's more recommended to use n as integer but uh, we replace int with n as integer and run again the result is as, ex as expected as before but we have a warning and you need to know that any warning can lead to an error in the future which says value of type integer, uh, integer should not be used as format arguments add an explicit cast to long instead so if we click one time on this triangle we have two options uh, one option and we can click on this and it gets replaced from D to LD and we have a cast here now if we run again everything is fine as before and we have no warnings one thing about CG float let's say f equals to 10.25 ns log percent, uh, f equals to percent f and the number f let's just comment these two lines we don't need we don't need, need them anymore so compile it run it we have 
f equals to 10.25 and four zeros. If we don't want all these four zeros at the end, we can just before f insert point and two, which means we only want two digits after the decimal point. Run again. And as you can see, we only have two digits at the end. If let's say we have 10.252, as you can see, we also only have two digits. If we want the, same, uh, the whole number as it is, we need to put three instead of two. And now we have everything as expected. Um, one more case for booleans. If you have bool, uh, let's say uh, value equals to two less than three, which is yes or true, uh, and we want to analog the value. Uh, we cannot do it directly. Instead, we should do something like this. We want to output a string, percent add sign, and here we say if value equals yes, and we use something called the ternary operator. So we we have an interrogation sign. Now we have the actual string, yes, and colon, and another string, no. So this is how we do. And I will explain later how this works, or maybe you already know if you know uh, some other programming languages. If we change two to five, we'll get answer no.